If you're not using AI yet to create and edit your content, this video is going to change the game for you. CapCut AI has saved creators so much time during the editing process, allowing us to share more content with the world more easily. In this tutorial, I want to walk you through a few of CapCut's AI features that I highly recommend taking advantage of. We're going to talk about some tools to make your videos more engaging and save you a ton of time. But before we get into this, make sure you're subscribed to CapCut's YouTube channel. You do not want to miss out on any of these tutorials or product updates. We also have a bunch of tutorials up already to help you navigate CapCut and the editing process, so definitely check those out if you haven't already. Okay, let's get started on the CapCut desktop app. If you're anything like me, you might have a tendency to use a filler word or two. And there's like nothing um, worse for um, like engagement than like loading up your um, video with filler words. You see what I mean? I also tend to pause a lot while I'm filming just to gather my thoughts, and this adds so many more cuts that I have to do to my footage. While you can try to minimize filler words by scripting out what you wanna talk about in advance or saying the same sentences over and over again until you get it right, you can fix this right up in the editing process as well. Let me show you. Here is my footage. I haven't cut anything yet. This is just nine minutes of pure yapping. Before I start editing up a storm, I'm going to click on the scissors button and CapCut's AI is gonna start removing all of those filler words and pauses for me. My video is completely transcribed here and as I scroll through the transcript, I can see where the pauses and filler words are. You can also look individually at pauses, filler words, and repeats to make sure you're not accidentally taking out something that you actually want to keep in. If you go through the transcript and decide that you actually do want to keep a natural pause in some places, simply uncheck that line on the transcript and CapCut won't remove it. From here, you can either leave your video as this rough cut or put it back on your timeline as a compound clip without any cuts. I recommend leaving the cuts in case you want to make any additional tweaks later. This will just make that a lot easier on you. But if you feel really good about what you have here, go ahead and add it to your timeline as a compound clip. It really just depends on what kind of content you're making and what your process is. You can also see the new duration of your video here, which I think is so cool. My nine minute video turned into a seven minute video with the click of a button. Once you're satisfied, you can put your video back on your timeline and make any additional edits you want. This feature is a total game changer and it's only available for CapCut Pro users, so make sure you upgrade your account if you want to save some time on your editing. Now that we've got our filler words, pauses, and repeats handled, let me take you over to the CapCut mobile app and I'll show you a couple more features. If you're a vlogger, you already know that editing all of your footage together can be quite cumbersome. But thankfully, we have the CapCut mobile app to make everything so much easier. Go ahead and tap on the auto cut button here at the top. You'll be able to select all the footage that you want CapCut to edit together here. Once you've picked out everything you want to include in your video, go ahead and enter your prompt so CapCut knows what kind of video you're creating. You can combine a bunch of cooking clips here to make a recipe video or combine some footage from your recent trip for a travel vlog. The the sky's the limit. I'm choosing a couple of longer clips that I took to put together a house tour. So I'm gonna type in house tour and let CapCut do the rest. Now CapCut has given me a few different templates to choose from. If I don't like any of these, I can always tap the refresh button to get a fresh batch. I can also replace the music here. Keep in mind that you'll be able to change what the text says or make any additional edits if needed. Just pick a template that does most of the heavy lifting for you, but also leaves a little bit of room for your creativity there. When I tap the edit button beneath the template, I'm able to crop or replace any of my clips. I can also adjust the volume and the color grading. Within the text tab here, I can also change what I want my text to say. For any larger edits, tap the edit more button and the app will take you to the standard project editor. Once you're happy, all there's left to do is export. We've talked about AI characters on this channel before and they're so helpful in adding a face and voice to your content. But what happens when you want to use yourself as an AI character? Yes, I'm telling you that you can clone yourself using CapCut AI and create content without filming a thing. To do this, open your project and head into the AI characters menu. You'll see your standard characters here, but if you'd like to create your own, head over to the Yours tab. When you create your own AI character, you'll be able to customize one character and use it for 30 days. If you want to change anything about your character, like your hairstyle or your clothing, you can re-customize 
customize it within 15 days. All you have to do to create your own custom AI character is record or upload a video. Before filming, make sure your background is clean and simple. You also want it to contrast with what you're wearing, so if you're standing in front of a white wall, make sure you're wearing a dark shirt. You also want your video to be very well lit, so make sure you're standing in front of a window or you have a light in front of you. Make sure your full face is visible and you'll want to record for a couple of minutes to give the AI plenty to work with. You also want to read out loud for at least 90 seconds in your clip. You can pull out a book and read a passage or just talk off the cuff. Regardless, you want to give CapCut the material it needs to create your character. Once you submit your recording and consent, CapCut will get to work creating your character. It should take about an hour. After that hour, your AI character will appear under the Yours tab and you can use it in any of your content. Once again, we've got a great time saver and it's a great way to appear in your videos without having to film again each and every time. Check it out. Hey, this is my AI character. Pretty cool, huh? CapCut really does AI right, and it's so helpful to have these tools at the ready as you edit your content. Let me know what your favorite CapCut AI tool is. Are you creating your own AI character? Are you really into the smart templates? Maybe you're just getting rid of those filler words and pauses? Comment down below and let us know. And if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, let us know. We've got your back and we will walk you through anything you wanna know more about. With that, I will catch you in the next video. Bye.